In this video demonstration, I'll show you how to convert between imperial and metric units. This is part three. The question reads, convert the following measures. In A, they want us to convert five gallons of paint to liters. Gallons is an imperial unit, liters is a metric unit. The conversion factor that we'll be using is shown right here. To convert five gallons, which I'll represent as GAL, to liters, you have to multiply this by 3.785 liters over one gallon. Now I've described why I've done this in parts one and two, but in case you need a refresher, every conversion ratio shown here can be written as a fraction. For example, in our conversion ratio, I put the liters at the top and gallons at the bottom, but you can also put the gallons at the top and liters at the bottom. And depending on what you're converting, you'll have to choose the right variant. So I chose this variant in particular because you'll notice that I'm going from gallons. And if I multiply this by this conversion ratio, the gallons will cross out. You have a gallon unit at the top and a gallon unit at the bottom, and they will cancel out. So multiplying this together, I end up with 5 times 3.785, and that gets me 18.925. 18 0.925 liters. Now hypothetically, had I chosen the wrong version, for example, had I chosen the version where the gallons is at the top and the liters is at the bottom, then you would not end up canceling any of the units. So that wouldn't work. Let's move on to B. And I'll do B over here. This time they want us to go from 53 pints to liters. Now the conversion ratio for that is shown right here. And I'm going to use the version where the pints is at the bottom and the liters is at the top, 0 0.472 liters. So multiplying this out, the pints will cancel and you're left with, well, let's use our calculator, 53 times 0 0.472 gives me approximately 25 liters to be exact. 25.016 liters. Notice that the only thing remaining was the L, and that's why I put it here. Moving on to C. This time they want us to convert 15 ounces of chocolate to grams. To do this, we'll need this conversion ratio. So I'm going to start off by writing down 15 OZ, which represents ounces, times, now this time, the ounces needs to be at the bottom, and the grams, 28. 3, 5 can be at the top. Now, of course, your teacher may teach you a different way to convert. Regardless of the method that you use, you will end up with the same answer. So canceling the ounces, I end up with 15 times 28.35, and that gets me 425.25, 425.25 grams. And for our last example, we have four kilograms of cement, four kg of cement, and they want us to convert that into pounds. To do this, we'll use our final conversion ratio, and this time, this part will be at the bottom. So multiplying this by one pound over 0 0.454 kg. The kgs cancel out. Four times one is equal to four divided by 0 0.454. So this, multiply to this, divided by that gives us 8.81, 8.81 pounds. And so there you have it. Four more examples on how to convert between imperial and metric units. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.